What is up you guys, it's your boy Peace, how you guys doing? And yes, I'm so sorry for being absent on YouTube for a full month. That have never ever happened to me before, but I was kind of mentally ill because of the job application and moving and all the stuff that just combined. I was very overwhelmed, but now I moved to a new place and yeah, this is my new apartment. However, I'm not completely done with this apartment, but I'm still working on it and I think it will be done almost. So stay tuned for the newest video of my apartment tour and my new office tour. But anyway, let's get right into this coolest projector I have ever seen before. So this is Poppin' Alvin 2, which is all in one projector that contains a projector, obviously, a ceiling light and a Bluetooth speaker. Before we dive into this video, let me say thank you to Pop and Alden for sending me this product for free so I can show it to you guys. Since this company is a startup in Japan, I really want to support them and I want you guys to show love to them as well. So, let me stop talking, let's get right into the video. Let me talk about the remote controller of this product first. The controller is pretty slim, pretty light, very plasticky, but it's not cheap at all. It doesn't feel cheap at all. And I do really like this remote control. It's very tactical, it's very clicky, and it's easy to control it as well. And I do kind of love that logo right there. It's kind of cute. The unique thing about this remote control is that you can control the light as well because this is all in one projector that contains a ceiling light. So if I turn it on, it will turn on the light and I can even change the color and the brightness, which is pretty cool. Another cool feature about this remote is that you can change the focus and the volume via volume control key. So if you just switch this volume to focus, you can change the focus via volume keys. So this is pretty cool. Additionally, if you lose your controller or if you have a controller far from you and you're just too lazy to get the controller and rather use your smartphone, you can also use the same feature as this remote control on the Pop and Aladdin app. Setting up this product was extremely simple. All you need to do is just pop this thing onto your ceiling and you're good to go. Like the name of this product, Pop and Aladdin. Like you just pop in. And yeah, unfortunately, this product is only available in Japan because of the ceiling connector. I didn't know that ceiling connector is different with various of countries because I thought they were all the same. But unfortunately, it's different and this product is Japan limited and you only can use it in Japanese house or like you have to live in Japan to use this product. So that's kind of unfortunate. However, this company also has a product called Aladdin Vase, which is a portable projector that you can take it anywhere to enjoy the whole movie or Netflix or whatever. And they're saying that they're thinking to launch that product overseas as well. So let's see what's gonna happen. But yeah, this company, is pretty cool. If you guys liking this video, please hit the like button. And if you guys liking this channel, please hit the subscribe button so YouTube Senpai will notice me and bless me with the algorithm. Adjusting the brightness and the angle is very easily and most of the stuff they will do it automatically such as focus and like most of the brightness and stuff they will just do it automatically so I didn't really struggle you know setting up this thing. This product will project in full HD resolution up to 120 inches. It really depends on your room size, but my new place is around 235 square feet, and this thing was able to project up to 100 inch. The top brightness of 700 ANSI lumen of this brightness is not bad at all, but it does require the room to be pretty dark to see a clear picture. Speaking of the picture quality of this resolution, the core of this projector is actually from XJimmy, which is a world-renowned projector manufacturer from China. And since Pop and Alden is a startup, they do not make their own projector, they actually outsource from XJimmy and they use their projector. As I'm looking at the specs and the design of this product, I think they're using Elfin, which is XJimmy's entry model, but I'm not complaining at all. I've been using this product for around three weeks now. However, I never really had a problem when it comes to the resolution nor the brightness. Because for me, watching a movie is more like an experience because it feels like I'm in a theater and I haven't been to a theater for like, what, two years now? So I do feel like this is a very cool experience. And to be honest, for a projector, it will cool to have a 4K resolution, HDR, or even over 1700 lumen. However, for the price, I do have to compromise the amount of benefits that they're giving us with this product. So I'm okay with that. But let me be honest, 700 ANSI lumen is not bright under the daylight. So you can't literally watch anything when there's bunch of lights in your room. So for example, let me show you guys the brightness of this projector during the daytime and when it's dark. As you guys can see, if I close the curtain, 
even the daytime, the 700 SE lumens are not bad at all and it's totally visible. And the full HD resolution is really good and even this thing is up to 100 inches right now. I mean, I totally love it. It looks pretty, pretty good. One of my favorite features of this product is the speaker. It has four Harman Kardon speakers to create a dynamic sound for your entertainment. For the people who are thinking about buying a projector, most of the projector out in the market does not have a speaker included. And even if it's included, it's not that really good. However, this product does have a very high quality speaker. And especially since this thing is on top of the ceiling, it does make a great surround sound system and it feels super theater-like and I really love that. Also, you can use this product as a dedicated Bluetooth speaker as well and I really love it. I use this speaker all the time. So as I said, you can use this thing as a Bluetooth speaker as well. So let me demonstrate there real quick. I'm gonna turn off, go to Bluetooth speaker. As you guys heard that, now it just turned to a Bluetooth speaker. I mean, you can just play Spotify on this, but since I wanted to play something that is not copyright, <laughs> I'm gonna play on SoundCloud. I really love the sound of this speaker. It's very loud, very punchy, and the highs are nice as well. So, I mean, as a Bluetooth speaker, I was thinking about purchasing like a smart home speaker, but I ended up just using this because the sound is really good. The product is running Android TV OS 9 with their original UI on top of it. I won't say it's bad or anything. It's pretty simple and useful. However, they do limit the capability of the normal Android TV OS. So I cannot even open a normal Google Play Store to download Disney Plus to watch Disney Plus because this UI does not include Disney Plus, which frustrates me a lot. However, you do have Netflix, Hulu, Prime Video, and YouTube. So I'm pretty content with the variety of application that they have but I'm just missing Disney Plus and I really love Disney Plus. You can also use AirPlay, but let me be honest, the AirPlay, they use a system called Miracast. It's not that good. Sometimes you can't even stream certain videos because of DRM, which is like this copyright claim thing on the internet and it's really weird, but overall it's not bad. For some reason, the only Netflix app is controlled by a mouse, like computer mouse which is kind of weird for a projector or Android in general, but I guess that's how it works. I, I like, I'm not even complaining. I'm just thinking that why? Like other application works completely fine and it's intuitive, but Netflix is the only one that's kind of gimmicky, but I think Netflix is the prominent application of all of the streaming platform that they have in this product. So I'm just like, Super confused. However, there's a cool feature of being a startup and putting in their own UI is that they do have a bunch of original contents. For example, like a digital clock or like a window scenery, which is pretty cool as well. But they do hide these like paywalls here and there. And I don't like that paywall, but at the same time, they are a startup and they need a capital to gain. So they need to collect much, you know, finance from consumers and other venture capital and stuff. But the monthly subscription is only around 330 yen, which is around $3. So I'm fine with that. But I don't like how companies do these like hiding paywalls that if you want to reach to certain capability of the product, you have to pay subscription or you have to pay this much amount of, you know, whatever, because subscriptions are all over the place now. And I'm super overwhelmed. Surprisingly, the ceiling light itself is very well made. As I told you guys, my new room's living room is around 235 square feet and it brights up the room entirely. But lastly, let me get to the bad side and the good side of this product. And I do have a list right here and let me read off of it. This unique form factor is elegant, minimal, and slim but it does come with a couple of sacrifices. First of all, since you cannot connect HDMI cables directly to this projector, you kind of have to buy this wireless HDMI transmitter from Poppin Allen, which is not a big problem if you want to connect your PC or if you want to connect a DVD player. I don't know who has a DVD player in 2022, but if you want to do that, I think it will work totally fine. On review, it said there's a noticeable latency going on. So if you just want to watch like a movies, I think that's totally fine, but this thing is not meant for gaming at all. Second this is kind of like cell V type of problem like it is what it is type of problem but since this thing is directly stuck to my ceiling I cannot move around or you know decide which walls will be the best 
for this projector you only have like one or two options when it comes to like projecting stuff with this product so like for some people but to be honest if you're buying this projector you kind of already noticed that you already have a wall or a screen projector that you want to you know project on so it's not a problem but i'm just saying that you will not be able to you know really choose where you want to project stuff however lastly the most beneficial thing about this product is that you don't have to do any type of cable management which is such a blessing for me because I do f***ing hate managing my cables. I think cables are the most disgusting thing in this universe and I don't have to do that at all. So thank you, Pop and Elden, for sending me this product. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys like this video, please hit the like button for YouTube Senpai so he will bless me with that algorithm. And I hope you guys will watch my other video as well. I'll leave two of my favorite videos right here and my most recent one and my channel right here. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys have a great, great, awesome day. My name is Peace Gates and you guys already know. Peace out, guys.